mediator is very alert. So the mediator kept quiet for a moment because A, when he said that was a Thursday, B said what difference does it make? Any day it could be, but that's what you did. You backstabbed me. He said, no, no, I remember specifically it was a Thursday. So the mediator realized there's something to it. I mean, what's this thing about Thursday? So he said, uh, would you like to uh, care to explain to us uh, what's the relevance with Thursday? No, 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 no relevance of the day, Thursday. But I remember specifically because that was the day when I was in great anguish. I was working overnight for the last three weeks trying to fulfill a commitment and order a contract I had taken. And some nights I would even sleep at the factory. It was during that time that I received a call from my son's school saying that he has done something which the principal has taken cognizance of and wants to make an example of and has decided to rusticate him. So please come and collect your child. So I was just explaining to my staff what they should be doing in my absence whilst I am at the school. That another phone call came saying this was from my neighbors in my farmhouse outside the town and they said that hey look man all your animals are suffering, that water trough is empty and the hay has all blown over with the wind, so they have nothing to eat, nothing to drink, they will soon die, you better do something about it. Uh, there, you know, in those cities, countries, it's not like India. In India, you smell something, ah, kya ban rahe? Are bhabhi ji kya ban rahe? No, that, uh, nobody goes into anybody's house over there. So they just call up, okay, aapke aag lagi, aake buja ke jao. So they called up and this poor chap, his farmhouse way outside the city decided that my son won't die, the animals will. So he preferred to let his son be and went after the animals. And whilst he was driving, his uh, friend's house came on the way, B's house was on the way. And he paused for a moment thinking that maybe I can take him along to help me fill up the water and feed the animals. And then he thought maybe he's not at home, why waste time, let me rush, I have to still go to the school. So he paused and then zipped away. And he went there, filled up the trough and gave the food and then went to the school and begged forgiveness uh, with the principal. And he explained all that in the mediation. This is what happened. And then he said, when I came back uh, on Monday, I received a notice uh, from um, some lawyer about something. My eyes were so red with over shift, overnight shift that I was doing that I couldn't read properly. So I just sent it to my lawyer. And he said, well, this is regarding some will, some lady has left. He said, yeah, 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 she has left me her estate, but I don't know, I have no time to now do anything about it. What about it? He said, no, no, but this is, that will is being challenged by Mr. So and so. Oh, yeah, he's my friend, don't worry, I'll talk to him. So his lawyer said, Shh, don't talk to your friend. Mm -hmm. Anything that you say will be used against you. He will misquote you and better his case and your case will suffer. So don't even talk to him, even if he tries to contact you. So he said, then I kept quiet about it and then this matter came. And for all the time that he was narrating his side of what happened, B, who had filed the uh, challenge to the will, his eyes were really moistening. And he looked at A and he said, I am so sorry if you had only told me that uh, your son uh, was being rusticated, I would have just picked up the phone and called the principal. He is my batchmate from school days, he wouldn't dare do it. I would have just told him, forget it, it's a mistake. You don't know, he's a very good boy. And I vouch for him and he wouldn't have to beg. And about the animals, I could have really helped you. I have just put the key, he said, but I didn't know all that. He said, but well, at least you could have told me later on. He said, well, later on, my lawyer said, don't approach the other side, don't talk to them. So for five months, I've been waiting for this matter to come up. Now, friends, this, is what happened thus far, which is understandable. But now see what happens. The charm of mediation. That as soon as this dialogue took place, B, who had challenged the will, told the mediator, Sir, sorry for having bothered you. Uh, we will no more be requiring your services as I shall be withdrawing my challenge. I will instruct my lawyers to do so. The mediator says that, uh, well, and he immediately realized, because in that jurisdiction you have to even pay the cost if you uh, are filing unnecessarily. So he said, no, no, we, without going into any details, I will pay the cost for everybody, including yourself, sir. So that is not an issue. Uh, but uh, thank you very much. And as soon as he said that, 
A said, no, 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 that does not end anything. And everybody looked at him and he said, said, well, you see, sir, we both took care of the aunt together. There is no reason why I should get everything. So I would like to instruct in front of you both our lawyers to sit together and divide the estate in such a way that both of us get an equal share. Now that barrister who was in the room, just as an observer because he wanted to see what is his mediation which is cutting down his billable hours, was shocked and he said for 27 years I am practicing this profession, I have never seen such a fantabulous result where parties on their own are coming together, maintaining the relationship and resolving their earlier dispute in such a fantastic way which no court could ever do. And that's what led him to understand the benefit of mediation and the charm of it. And I hope this small uh, war story will uh, put the message across that today in our courts we have got over uh, 270 lakh cases pending nearly quarter to three crores in the lower judiciary, 40 lakhs in the high court, over uh, approximately 50,000 in the supreme court. Now against that we did a pilot project. Now these cases in mind well, uh, when you look at the cases being filed and the cases being disposed, there is uh, a lot of confusion but let it remain at this that you do not see the end of your case for seven years on an average, looking at the appeals also. Against that, I give you a small specimen example that in Maharashtra, when we started our mediation, I have got a small period of uh, observation from July 2008 to April 2010. That was the time uh, one small survey was looked at. Approximately 2,900 odd uh, cases were referred to mediation all over Maharashtra, out of which 690 got resolved successfully. The rest were either failing or were in the process where the mediation was still going on. But if you look at just 690 out of 3000 is virtually 20 percent. And that 20 percent finds a resolution in a year and a half time maximum. Because some mediation start, they finish in two hours, some go on for six months, some very few about a year. But they all get over and they did get over between July 2008 and April 2010. So within that span of uh, 18 months or so, you have a resolution of 20% minimum and that 20% does not end up in any appeals. So that should be a message to us that instead of uh, looking at the courts, let us feed ourselves and sit with our brother because this not only is about the quantity of the case is being dispensed with, but I just explained to you how the quality of the dispensation is also so fantabulous, which unfortunately no courts can ever do, only because the courts are concerned with what happened in the past, whereas you have to be concerned with now what you will do in the future. Should there be any questions, we will take them up later on. Thank you.